Fantasy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are getting back to completing some more side quests. According to my list, we currently have 21 more side quests left to complete before we're all done with them, so I just wanna make as much of a dent on that as possible. And for the next one, we need to head all the way over to Terrytown. So we'll be going right by where our house is, of course, and uh, figuring things out from there. So where is that gonna be? Right over here. So we'll head to Terrytown and we'll see what we can do. So what we actually have to do is, instead of over there, in that part of the town, we need to head over this way. And have I actually activated this one before? I have, I'm trying to make sure I get all those activated as I go by them. You might also notice that I switched over to the Korok mask, I'm trying to get some more seeds. There's lots to do around here. So one of these areas should have somebody to talk to for a quest. I feel like this area has uh, filled out a lot more, which is pretty cool. Um, hmm. Maybe over here? Seems like there's something going on. Lots of people hanging out. So I'll go and talk to this group. Uh, there must be some way. Oh yeah, haven't we? Have we started this quest? <laughs> now I'm like curious. Uh, master the vehicle prototype, is that what we're looking for here? Oh, it is. Okay, see so yeah, let's try this one. Um, this is Furnison from the Zonai survey team with help from Hudson Construction has been turning Zonai devices into vehicle prototypes. She has one all ready to go, except for one problem. No one knows how to control it. None of the Zonai devices that fell on Terrytown seem to do the trick. So Furnison has called on a couple of professional racers, hoping they might help. So let's go and catch up with all these guys. Oh, um, good afternoon. You're not with Hudson Construction, are you? I guess if he's here, he must be involved somehow. Oh. The name's Furnison. I'm working with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're prototyping new vehicles. Oh. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a Zonai device capable of controlling the vehicles. We tried all of the devices in Terrytown, but none of them worked. We even brought in a couple of top-notch Garuda racers to get their advice, but I'm afraid that made things worse. Try the steering stick. I got one for you. Oh, what is this? I've never seen a Zonai device like this before, but I don't think I can do anything with it. Not like this anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. Well, maybe I can attach it. Try it on that vehicle prototype there so we can see how it works. Sure thing. Ah. What's this? You thought a lowly Vo could just chit chat with the likes of me? Well, listen up. We trekked all the way here from the Gerudo region, which is far off to the southwest, for your information. And we did this all because someone said we could drive a vehicle the likes of which no one had ever seen. What a joke. Anyway, you might say I'm, a, I'm real disappointed, and you can definitely say I'm in a real bad mood. So, since there's no control thingy around here, how about you make yourself useful and go somewhere else and find one? Oh, and another thing. I'm sick and tired of all the, the of the zo this and zo that, so no zo anything out of you. Got it? All right, all right. Hi. We've met before, haven't we? Hey, hey, hey. Tali is a special Vi. The best of the best. A Vo can't just walk up to her and start chatting. All right, well, I'll leave you guys be. Um, let's go over here and switch to the steering stick. Perfect. So I just need to, oh my, grab it, just like this. And then try to, hold on, there we go. <laughs> Fix it up a little bit. I just attach it right here. That should do the trick. Aha, so that's how you set it up. Yes, yes, now I can see how it could be used to sear something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favor to ask. Sure. Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? Ah. I don't get it. That weird thing is gonna make that huge contraption move? Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh -huh. Ah, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Ooh, here we go. Mm. Let's see, hmm, I think I flip this which is here and here and Yes. Whoa. Whoa, we got a course. Ta-da, it's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So here's what I'd like you to do. 
touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that, and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly, but if this device works, we'll have built another new vehicle, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. You won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. Um, sure, I'll do it. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. All right, so. Now let me quickly remind you the rules. It's simple, really. Just touch all of the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Oh, and don't let go of the steering device or go too far off the course. We can't get the driving data we need if you do that. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry. All right, let's get to racing. Okay. And we got a master the vehicle prototype upgrade or update. You've been asked to take the vehicle prototype for a test drive and use the steering stick to control it. You'll have to touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit you were given. Remember, you'll be disqualified if you take your hands off the Zonai device or lead the course. I got it. Let's go. So I will go ahead and grab that. And we're just riding around. Luckily, uh, we have enough battery, plenty enough battery to get this done. It's a very simple little loop here. Are they watching? Are they watching? I think they are. Okay, one more. Here we go, here we go. And we made it. Finished. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So there we go. Was that really all we needed to do? Ah. I don't believe it. I've never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Ooh, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Glad we impressed you, don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could get, could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonai device's full capabilities. And, uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. Whoa, we get a silver rupee. I'm happy with that one. <laughs> You're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Whoa, a sleepover ticket. I'll take it. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one to here is probably South Akala Stable. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown Race Project, and I can finally do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Ah. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. <laughs> the Terrytown Race, hmm, yes, I am looking forward to it. Cool, so master the vehicle prototype complete. That was pretty easy. You did it. You drove the course and returned to the starting point within the, the time limit. Ferdison from the Zonai survey team says this is just the beginning. She seemed to have a have big plans in the works. That's awesome. Okay, so does that mean we just talked to you guys again? I don't know if there's any other quests associated with this. As far as I can tell, I think there's supposed to be. I'm so grateful you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about, the Terrytown Race. Thank you, really. The Terrytown Race project is an important part of the effort to develop new vehicles. And it's almost ready. I just need to wrap up some final details. I will need a bit of time to prepare, but it shouldn't take long. While you wait, why not get a bit of rest at a stable? You can put that free sleepover ticket to good use. Okay. There's more to it than I thought. It's not just about the driving technique. It is about how the driver makes use of the vehicle's unique capabilities. As I watched you run the course from the sidelines, your approach enlightened me. You have my thanks, Sark so. All right, and then we have you. I got a good look at your driving skills with these eyes of mine, Bo. Mark my words, when the preparations for the Terrytown race are complete, you'll be back. Why, you ask? Bah. You have the heart of a racer, that's why. You can't resist the pull of the driver's seat for long. That is for sure. I love racing around. Before we get anything done there, what if I just slept at the house then? 
I don't know if it's I specifically have to sleep at a at an inn or a stable or if I just need to like spend the night doing something. That's what it really seems to be hinting off. So I'm just gonna try to spend the night at the house and then just fly back over and maybe we could do the next quest because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one more. Okay, so I took a rest at the house and it looks like we can talk again. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. Whoa. With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering six capabilities. So, welcome to the Terrytown race. <laughs> with Tail as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering, or Tali with our, as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design. And we've arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Sark so. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Uh? While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say, you versus Tali? She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well then, you win. <laughs> Yes, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tali's best time is two minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tali's record? Um, of course. Yeah. Woohoo! I apologize, I got excited. And I can't help but woo and who when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've readied your vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Sure. Oh. Since you'll be helping us collect data, any Zonai device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. All right, so the Terrytown race is on. Burnison has been working to make her dream of the Terrytown race a reality. And at last, it's a go. You can enter any vehicle you like, but you'll have to use a specific steering stick so Furnison can, can, like, can collect the race data she needs. When you're ready to test your skills in the Terrytown race, check in with Furnison. I'll do that soon, but for right now, let's get to building. It looks like we have an interesting setup over here. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Oh, there's somebody over here. Hi. Uh. Okay. Well, whenever you're done cowering. Uh. What's that? What's your name? Uh, this is Bide. What could be powering the Zonai devices? Could there really be a tiny spirit inside? No, that doesn't seem likely. Ah, apologies. I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I have survived, surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. Mm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us Zonai-obsessed Zonai research team members, this place is paradise. Oh. But you're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Possibly. Okay, now what I meant to do. Yeah, let's pick this up, like that, and uh, attach it right there. And then we'll get this one. Now remember that we wanna put our specific apparatus on in a moment. The only problem with this one is it doesn't always steer the best. And that is something I'm a bit concerned about, but maybe I'll just give it a try and we'll see. Might not be a first time win, but it'll be something. Oh, and there's a little book here. I think I'll read that after. So I guess I'll chat with you guys a little bit. Ah. Having someone like you to compete with will help keep Tali sharp. And a piece of advice, don't go thinking you'll be able to beat her record so easily. Oh. My record is two minutes exactly. I'm confident it won't take you long to beat that. All right. So, let's see this one right over here. And we'll just try to zoom along. <laughs> ah yes, the vehicle looks good. Oh. Ready to begin? Of course. Yeah. The steering stick is all set up, so we're good to begin. Mm. Let's see, first I'll activate the switch for the course. Oh, there it goes. Let me explain the rules again. 
Tali's record is two minutes exactly. You must touch all of the lights and return to the starting point in that time. Don't take your hands off the steering stick once you've grabbed it or go too far off course. Now, on your mark, three, two, one, and go. All right, we're moving. The Terrytown race is on. I do want to see the update. You're in the middle of the Terrytown race. Touch all the lights and get back to the starting point within the time limit to clear it. Don't forget, you'll be disqualified if you take your hands off the steering stick or go too far off course. All right, I'm zooming through this as fast as we can. We have these big, like, you know, places we can steer or like make big turns. I don't know if I need it too much. Ooh, the water sections do have me a bit nervous, but we're zooming through this really fast. How many more lights are left? It looks like at least four of them, whoa! Come on, come on. Got it. Just a few more left. We are destroying this course, no problem. All right, come on, whoa. Over the rough terrain. That's not so good. And then one more right over here, come on! And boom, less than a minute, we demolished Tali's time. Hopefully she was taking some good notes. I can't believe it. You actually broke Tali's record. Here, this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. So I charge times three, nice. Who'd have thought a foe could race like that? All right, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Your mastery of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, 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 how about that? It's not often Tali has so much to say. Seems like that her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see me later, will you? So the Terrytown race is on, complete. And with it, you entered the Terrytown race and performed brilliantly, beating Tali's record time. Thanks to your impressive skills, you've been told you can try the expert course too. Keep at it, give the course another run, and try a, for a new record. I will definitely do that in a moment, but first let's just sort of chat. Savota, I'm so sleepy this morning. It's hard to wake up. <laughs> That was impressive. You're very skilled. I'm certain there's much I can learn from studying your technique. Even I found planning for the expert course to be a challenge. I'm eager to see how you handle it. I must continue to refine my technique. Should I reevaluate how I train my body, or do I need to reconsider how I plan my, my run on a course? What about you? You here to do the same driving this morning? It's not often until I consider someone a worthy rival, so you should feel honored. The time limit for the expert course is based on her fastest run, you know. But seeing how you're you're so worthy and all, I'm sure you'll have no tr trouble breaking your record, right? I mean, I would hope so. Let's read through this too. Read the Terrytown rule book. Okay, well, I, I guess I don't need this too much. I thought it was like a log of, you know, her building it or something. Um, current records for the expert, right? No record yet, apparently. Okay, Uh, anything of interest up here? Just some books and stuff. Pretty peaceful up here. I like it, but uh, nothing of note. So let's go and try for a new record. Thanks for coming. The thing I wanted to talk to you about is, well, you see, operating expenses for this Terrytown race are a bit tight. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, we're now going to charge an entry fee of 10 rupees per run. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling even. Yes? No? Sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is a difficult announcement to make, and I can see that giving it a cheery spin did not help. But still, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying even if you do not, or if you do have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if we're able to get good data. So I'm confident that the experience will be well worth the 10 rupees. If you'd like, why not try it right away? Sure, I'm game. That's what I like to hear. You want to use the vehicle of yours of yours as is, or would you like to make some adjustments? It's fine as is. Yeah. Fantastic. Those are the words I wanted to hear. Which course do you want to try? The expert course. Mm -hmm. and that'll be 10 rupees. Thank you very much. All right, let's get started right away. So what kind of reward will we get for this one? Let's see, the switch for the expert course is... Right there, all right. Let me just go over the rules. The time to beat on the expert course is three minutes. If you touch each and every light and get back here before the timer runs out, you win. But don't let go of the steering stick once if once you've grabbed it, and don't get to go too far off the course. Now on your marks, three, two, 
one, and go. So does, this does not count as a quest, but we have three full minutes, that's quite a lot of time. Seeing how we did the first one in 40 seconds, I'm pretty confident we can make this work. Now, a lot more of the lights are on, but if I can just uh, be careful with my steering, we gotta pull back from time to time so that we can actually make this the turns correctly. But it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more lights to get. So let's just get that number lower and lower. And then turn around like this. Come on, got it. Oh wow, crazy turn there. Wanna get around this way? And then I guess, let's get this one. Got it, big turn, big turn. Whoa, we're sort of burning out. Oh, this is cool. Whoa! Let's get this one to our left. Come on. Oh, I guess, oh, there's a Korok seed around here. I'll have to come back. But I wanna get over this way. Just like that, got that light. That means there's two left and we have so much time to get it. Got it, and then over here. Are oh, you ready? I think this is the last one. It is, new record. Just over one minute with that one. Not bad. Congratulations. I can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a foe tally respects. Here, please, I want you to have this memento for beating the expert course for the first time. All right, we get a large zone I charge. What are you going to do now? Feel like giving it another go? I'm not interested for now. Please come back and drive it again sometime. That was awesome, so we got two side quests on there. I already see what the Korok seed's gonna be, that little rock right there. So I'll run off and get that. And then afterwards, I guess we will uh, try to find some other side quests to do. But that was definitely an excellent start to today. We got plenty more to do. So I'm just going to switch this up like this, run over here, and then, can I not go up there? There we go. So just had to find like a flat surface bit of it. And right over here, got it. Cool. I found you, we're getting up to 40 Korok seeds here soon enough. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I don't see anything else to do around here, so I want to find out where we're going next. So our next one should be somewhere near the South Akala Stable, which is where we're at right now. So with this one, there's just supposed to be someone around here who needs help, is it you? Uh, hi. Come on, break already. Hello. Uh. What? I found this ore deposit, so I'm gonna smash it and get the gems inside. The rain's making my hands all slippery, so I can't get a good grip. Otherwise, this rock would be dust by now. Uh. What's with that look? You don't think I can do it? Fine then, let's make it interesting. If you can break this ore deposit in one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out. <laughs> so just step up, if you've got the guts. I'm pretty confident in my skills, but with my sword, I can't even make a dent. There's no way that a way a nobody like you can break it in one strike. One hit wonder. Parsi has repeatedly attacked the deposit with her sword, but it's not working all that well. If you can destroy the ore deposit with a single blow, you'll get to keep any gems inside. Well, if you're watching for this one, I can do that for sure. If you can break the sword deposit with one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out. I'm pretty confident in my skills. Yeah, with the sword you can't. All right, well, watch this. Before we get struck by lightning, I'm gonna switch to something like uh, this right here. And boom, broken. We did it. <laughs> a lot of ores in there too. Oh, come on. How, how? I was joking when I said break it in one go. I came up short because I was only using my arm muscles, but you, you used your brain muscles. Now I can, all I can do is admit that you won. Congratulations, that was a perfect strike. The gems are yours, like we agreed, and you've inspired me to get more creative with my weapon designs. All right, so one hit wonder, that might have been the fastest side quest we've ever done. You destroyed the ore deposits with a single blow and earned the contents within. Parsi is impressed with your weapon, and she's determined to make one just like it for herself. Awesome, so we'll get two rubies and two ambers out of that too. Nice little reward. So there we go, there's that one done. Let's find another. Okay, well, I was heading over to a specific area, but of course, as I am, my Croc mask is telling me about this right here. So let's go get a quick uh, Korok seed or heading over, very nice. So that's our 39th one. So I guess now is a good time to start, you know, getting over here. So apparently over at Rococa Hills, there's some kind of side quest to do. So that's what I'm sort of focused on getting over to for the time being. 
to do that, I need to fly down this way. We're getting right past the ring ruins. We've been there plenty of times before, so I'm not too worried about that. And there's another? Where could it be? Uh, maybe up on this tree? If I'm lucky, not quite. Hmm. I'll take a little bit of a look around. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's not going anywhere, right? What is up with this like rock formation? This one's very odd. I can't break these? No. Hmm. It could be something above us. So it might not be worth getting too worried about, or it could be something below us. I don't think it's something below us. Okay, whatever. I'll come back to it eventually. I don't need to get every single one right now. It's just to pick up a few spares along the way. You guys have some stuff for me. If I uh knock you out and then get over here. Okay, you know what? I have some items I'm meaning to use. Not this, but okay, watch out. Gotcha. And then I wanna knock you off the side. Or not. There you go. See ya. You'll fall in the water, that'll eliminate you, and then you, I can get pretty easily. I think with that, I can get up here, grab a treasure chest real fast. Thank you. And then we'll continue over to the Rococa Hills. We got a notebook. Because if I take a look at the map, I haven't been over here. We're actually technically on the Rococa Hills. You're the last one. Not gonna do much for you, I'm sorry. Um, but if you drop some arrows, I would really gladly take that. Oh no, you're back. Thought I knocked you to your noom. Okay, well, I guess we could beat you up, but more Lazalfa stuff really couldn't hurt. Um, we got the Silver Moblin Hammer. Okay, now that one you might fall all the way down. Oh, you didn't. Gotcha, pretty good. I will do that, that, and that. There we go. Give me your stuff, please. Don't want it fall all the way down. No, wait, I just need the silver. No! All right, well, I got it. So now we're down here, but we're in this general area. I've not been here before, but I don't really see too much to do. Like I've been to those ones. I haven't been here. But with that being said, if I turn a little bit, it looks like there's something over this way. There's a little fence, so there's some kind of civilization. Oh wait, yeah, a well. Okay, so we'll hop into the well. And before I get too carried away, get a rusty shield. Is there anything cool back this way? A couple of arrows? Anything behind this waterfall? This seems like one that could have something hidden behind it, but it doesn't. So maybe I'll swim up that later just to get a better start on things. But back over here, whoa, there's smoke coming out of the well. Is there a fire down there? Uh Oh, hi. A dash of Pokemon horn. Huh? Are you a customer? I guess so. What are you selling? Welcome to Moses Hideaway Restaurant, home of the ultimate dish. Truth is, we haven't officially opened. You must have a good nose. <laughs> I mean, you just couldn't stay away from these tempting aromas, right? It was the smoke signal. Oh. Huh? Is there something wrong with your nose? There's no smoke signal. I'm just cooking, obviously. I <laughs> like the lizard falling in the distance is frozen. For I, Moses, spend all my time trying to achieve culinary excellence. And after a mountain of failed dishes, I mastered the ultimate dish. I'll let you in on my ultimate technique. <clears throat> take a failed dish, pound it into shape, cook it again, and take it to the next level. Um, sorry, I got a little carried away. So are you ready to turn your failed food into the ultimate dish? If you give me failed dishes, I can work my magic. Failed dishes? Yeah. Haven't you tried throwing things that aren't food into your cook pot? When you do, you'll often end up with a failed dish. They can fail in different ways. There's dubious food and rock hard food. Dubious, they say. Rock hard, they call it. Psh. Just because you throw in some more or monster bits. What terrible things to say, don't you think? Haven't they ever tried saying, heard the, heard the saying, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I was just thinking about my life before becoming a master chef. Bring me your failed dishes when you're ready to turn them into something amazing. And that's of course gonna be a quest, so the ultimate dish? Moza has opened a restaurant inside a well. She is convinced she can take failed dishes such as dubious or rock hard food and make the, them ultimate. If you get your hands on those disastrous dishes, Moza is ready for them. I don't know if I've done a 
rock hard dish before. So that might be worth trying. So we go over here. Um, don't you dare touch that pot. A chef lives and dies by their cook pot. You can't just move it while they're cooking. So I have to find my own. All right. Um, I don't see any around here. So we might just do this the easy way, which is to get one of these out here. Where is it? Right here. I have two of them. So do that. They're both gonna get started. The first thing I'll do is what do I have the most out of? I mean, I guess these luminous stones. If I just combine that with, say, an apple, and I cook it, would that make a rock hard food? We're gonna find out. Rock hard food. A dish gone awry after adding the wrong ingredient. Chewing your way through this won't be fun, but it will fill you up when you're between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> That's a good joke. And then I don't think I have any of the dubious food, so of course we'll make some of that. To make that, I'm gonna want a monster part. What is something I have a lot of? I have over 200 of the Pokemon horns, so if I combine that with an apple, what do we get? Dubious food. We've already done it before. You can see it's all blurred out. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> You're ensnared by this captivating scent, aren't you? Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with being tempted by delicious food. So, are you ready to turn your failed food into the ultimate dish? Oh. If you give me failed dishes, I can work my magic. Here's a bad one. Oh. All right, let me see this culinary disaster. So which one do we wanna choose here? Let's try the rock one, the rock hard food. <laughs> How? Can you even call this food? There are rocks softer than this. I might have chipped a tooth just looking at it. Um, sorry about that. This is such a spectacular canvas that I couldn't help myself. Anyhow, it's dangerous to leave this be. I'll cook it, pound it, and make it ultimate. It's your first time, so you get a discount. Let's call it five rupees. Sounds reasonable. Oh. Thanks for your business. Now, let's get to work. Oh. Whoa, crank up the heat. Whoa, music's exciting. Chop it, pound it, steam it, throw it in a high roll bass, boil it, cook it, and add that raw meat. Now just a pinch of, se of the secret extract and done. Prepare to be amazed. What are we gonna get here? Phew, that was tough. And now, the ultimate dish. Behold, monster stew. Meat and seafood simmered in a monster extract, a savory dish despite its ingredients. Ah. Eat up before it gets cold. Huh, with this extract, I'm unstoppable. It was totally worth the trip to, the t to, the, to that town in the Northeast. The ultimate dish complete. Moza turned that failed dish you gave her into monster stew. No challenge is too great for that master chef. She's ready to remake any dubious or rock hard food you bring her. All right, well, let's try that again, but with the uh, other type of food. Ah, oh, a customer, can't get enough of the ultimate dish. A special announcement for customers like you. Moses Hideaway Restaurant is opening its doors to the public. Bring me your failed dishes anytime and I'll make them oh. ultimate. Please visit Moses Hideaway Restaurant whenever you feel you need that ultimate flavor. Okay, I'm ready. If you have dubious or rock hard food, I'll work my culinary magic. So this time we'll use this dubious food. So she's just getting monster elixir and then just putting that in there. What happened here? What do you have to do to make something like this? What do those ingredients do to deserve this? Sorry, that's just um really special. Well, that'll be 10 rupees. That's a little steep. A girl's gotta make a living and how else am I going to get to fund my ultimate research? So are you gonna pay the 10 rupees? Here you go. Thanks for your business. Now let's get to work. Whoa, crank up the heat. So it looks like you're gonna say the same thing that you did, said before. Get a load of this. Is it gonna be the same thing again? About to find out. Phew, good thing I like a challenge. And now, the ultimate dish. Behold, yep, another monster oh. stew. Eat up before it gets cold. Awesome, so we made two monster stews here. With this extract, I'm unstoppable. All right, so that was really neat, and we found another well out of it, which I'm pretty happy about. So that was quite the experience. We're not quite done for today, but that is yet another quest done. So that's really good. 
So the next quest that I have on my list is going to be following the Kukos, which is something we've actually started. Trissa is at a loss. The local Kukos are nesting somewhere new, and she cannot gather any bird eggs for her shop. She says she'd like to have 10, and since they're such a popular item, it seems the Kukos all go off somewhere when morning comes. Where could that be? Luckily, we're not too far off from it, so we're just gonna head over here, take a look, and see what we can do. So it's not quite the time, to be able to find out where they're going, but I don't know where the cuckoos are to begin with. Okay, these cuckoos, right? Let me go and talk to the person inside just to be sure we know what we're doing here. Welcome. Uh, I'm sorry. I should be able to replenish my stock of everything other than bird eggs. They're a popular product, so I wish I could do something about it. If only I had 10 of them. Oh yes, then I could restock whenever I needed to. Bird eggs for you. But I don't know, I wanna find out where they're going, so I'm really curious. Oh, you really bought me, brought me 10 bird eggs? Yep, what a kind-hearted thing to do. Thank you so very much. Of course, I'm not about to, to make take them off your hands without paying. Oh, we get a purple rupee. Nice, that's five per, per cuckoo egg, I guess. Pretty cool. <laughs> I know it's not much, but that should still be more than you normally get. All right, very cool. Here, let me just pay, put these on display. There, now both my shelves and my heart are full. Please come again. All right, so follow the cuckoos complete. That was an easy way to do it. You gave 10 bird eggs to Trissa for her shop and she paid you back at above normal prices. Those eggs should allow for her to stay stocked for a while. I have the oddest feeling whenever we chat. It's almost like I've known you for ages. It makes me want to chatter away. Next time we talk, you should just tell me what you want. Maybe that'll stop me from talking your ear off. All right, well. Stop at any time. Uh, is there anything I need to get here? I don't think so. Do How are we doing on eggs now? Uh, I still have nine left, so I'm good. I wanted to see where the cuckoos run off to, so you can see some of the cuckoos here. So if I were to just wait until morning, I would like to follow them. Maybe it'll lead to something fancy. You never know. If it leads to a cave or something, now it's gonna be super important. So, oh, here they go, here they go. I don't wanna follow too closely, just in case they catch on to me. So let's just keep sneaking behind. Maybe just a brisk pace, you know? Where are they going? <laughs> this is this is so interesting. You guys get back here. They're cute for sure, just running around like this. Um, We're off to the races, it seems. I don't know, oh, taking a left, taking a left. Going on for a while here. The Kuko adventure right now. <laughs> Up the hill a little bit more. Are we gonna be led out of the whole village here? Sure seems like it. Okay, I'll get over here. I beat, I'm beating you there. Wherever it is. And they're going down this way, right? It seems like, was this just it? Okay, they're going up here. Up this scaffolding? All right, well, this is neat. I'm just gonna keep following them. We'll get somewhere at some point. There's gotta be a cave or something that are leading me to, right? I can only imagine. Uh, a little bit closer. Well, let me get these frogs too, or this one frog. Ready, ooh. Gotcha, sticky frog. Where are you guys going? Down this way, huh? By the tents? Well, you keep going beyond that. Huh. Uh, where are you guys going? <laughs> this is a crazy trip for two little cuckoos. At this point, my, my, my curiosity is just so high. They're quite the climbers too. I'm impressed. Where are we going guys? Over here? Okay, might as well pick up some mushrooms and stuff while we're on our way. We have a, another silent princess right there. How many do I, I have 70 of those now, cool. They're still going. I don't wanna lose sight of them. Spending all morning just walking around. Oh yeah, right here. Whoa, it's the Cuckoo Cave. Would you look at this discovery? Cuckoo Hideaway, so cool. This is awesome. So I can take all the eggs here if you guys don't mind. Hi guys. 
Wow, what a spot. And there's something down there. I can only imagine that's gonna be the uh, the other thing we're looking for, but what's up here? Just some armor, some ore, not armor. Uh, I guess I'll just bash it with this for now. And I should probably keep this, it's one of our strongest weapons. But if I grab you, Yonobo. Okay, you know, but better better luck next time. Um, you wanna come back over? Do you recharge faster now that we've upgraded you? I don't think you do, but I know, I know. Boom, now it's gonna break it open. And then down this way, ooh. Ooh, got two of them. I need these guys, so that's nice to have. Ooh, there's a like-like down here. Oh wait, gotcha. One more time, one more time. Tool one's trying to get you, actually, you're pretty simple, I should be able to do this. Come on, stick it out. I'm gonna pick that up, and uh, gotcha. Let's see what you drop me. Treasure chest, a uh, soldier's broadsword, and an eightfold blade. That's cool. Okay, I hear the frog in there. You know, Bo? Boom, nice. There's still more I gotta do. Okay, Rusty Claymore, this is exactly what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this blade. Pick up the Claymore, fuse it with a rock, you know what we need to make. A boulder, basher. That should be enough. And then where are you at? Oh, that almost got you. Okay, there we go. Cool, so that's another bubble gem for us too. What a find, very, very cool. So that'll be 44 bubble gems and another quest done and another cave cleared. Lots of stuff stacking up there. That was a really fun quest. So with that done, I wanted to tackle one last quest for today if we could. This one might take us a little bit of time. It is a new champion's tunic. According to Princess Zelda's diary, a new and improved champion's tunic is hidden in the throne room of Hyrule Castle. She wrote that the torches are the key, but what does that mean? So you can see that on the map over here, we went to uh, Zelda's Secret Well and we found her little diary talking about it. It's a place we've obviously been before, so hopefully we can get back to the throne room. Uh, and with it, I can try to figure out what that's gonna be because I have no clue. So let's go to this shrine and see for ourselves. Just obviously it's gonna be a tunic, but like in terms of what I have to do with those torches. Do I light them up? Do I do something different? I'm not really sure. That's what we gotta figure out. Now, I don't wanna spend a ton of time climbing up this castle. It's something we've done before. I wonder if the super spring would be enough. That would require 12. So let me just look at my other options too, if there's anything cheaper I can figure out, uh, just because I don't want it to be a whole deal. Uh, I could just try this hot air balloon for six. We'll do this one, and then I can spawn in my own flame emitter because I have quite a few of them at this point. So let that build, and then take out the device, put that on there too, and we should be able to get going with this. Oh wait, not there, but right here. It's been a while since we've last been at this castle. It's actually pretty stressful, but we just go up, and we'll be going up for a good while. As long as I can get to the throne room again. We've been there before. All right, this is so stressful. We'll definitely have to you know, return here at some point to defeat Ganon. That's sort of the thing I'm terrified of. I don't wanna accidentally do something that's gonna trigger the final boss or something like that, because I am not ready to do that. We have so much more to tackle first, but you can really see on the map here, I guess I don't get to see um, what I've exactly explored, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, but as we're getting higher up, I don't think we've really gone up to these parts, really. That's what we're gonna find out. I'm just gonna bring the hot air balloon as high up as I can, and then get over there and try to find this champion's tunic. But apparently the torches are the key. I wonder if there's gonna be a Korok seed up there. I don't think so, but you never know. So I will jump across to that and then work our way down. I'm sure I'll be exploring this castle more sooner or later as we're entering Hyrule Castle 1F. Is there anything up there? Sure doesn't seem like, wait, 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 wait. There has to be, there has to be, there it is. So cool. All right, grab that, okay, really? Come on, get back up there. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. I can fix that. I just eat some food, that'll give me stamina back. I might as well just do a 
full stamina restore then? I don't know, I wanna save some of that. We'll do this one, that's still quite a lot. And then, examine, there we go, nice. I did find you. 40 in total, bye bye. So, first we'll stop here. There's another one apparently. Is that a treasure chest? That is a treasure chest. What's inside of here? Whoa. Royal Guard Spear. This is a nice one to have. Um, so if I just move all the way over this way, I can drop this for it. Cool. And then over this way, what do I got? A Sapphire. So where is this Korok seed? Is it that? No, okay. Um, well maybe if I were to, no, it doesn't really work that way, huh? Weird, you would, oh it worked, it worked! <laughs> cool, I didn't actually do the thing bells are supposed to do, but we're 41 Korok seeds. Now, if I lower myself down here, this is where we faced off with Ganon not too long ago. Right down this way into the throne room. And the question is, what torches is it talking about? If we pull this up one more time. Uh, wait, where is it? Over here, adventure log. Uh, so she wrote that the torches are key, but what does that mean? I'm not seeing any torches, but I do see Royal Broadsword that I wouldn't mind picking up. Someone drop the Zonite Sword, scoop that. This would count as the throne room, right? I don't know, I'm pretty sure. I mean, is there a throne here? I guess not. Um, This is the Sanctum. Okay, so maybe not the throne room. They don't really have labels exactly, so maybe we just have to keep looking around. I mean, this is pretty much where we fought the Calamity Ganon, not Calamity Ganon, but the Ganon we did earlier in this series. Where's the throne? Oh, this looks like a throne to me. So where are there potentially torches? Oh, these. Okay, so if I were to just switch over to maybe this thing, and I light this one up, that's one. That's two. Whoa, here we go. This is so cool. Let's figure out what's down here then. It's a treasure chest. We open this up and inside is a champion's leathers. This garment worn by those in good standing with Hyrule's royalty has been reworked with la the latest improvements, such as a new shoulder guard. Awesome, and with that, a new champion's tunic is complete. You acquired the champion's leathers that Princess Zelda prepared for you in the throne room of Hyrule Castle. So let's go ahead and equip that straight away. Look at this, looking really, really good. And of course, if we want to get an even better look at it, we want to maybe get rid of that. There we go, that's so cool. So definitely, a lot of good quests done today. I think that some of them were pretty quick, some of them not so much. If I were to do anything more today, it would be, uh, I guess, moving out of here. How do I do that? Um, There. Uh, I wanna go back here and cash in some of my Korok seeds. We've gotten quite a lot of them. So, Hestu, how are you? Yeah. Looks like he's sniffing Korok seeds on me. Yep, okay, so. I think first things first is I should keep working on my weapon stash because it's the most expensive one. So 35 out of the way right there. He's gonna do a little dance for us. We're gonna skip it for the sake of time. And there we go. I guess it means I think we have one more slot to get there and then maybe it's filled up. Not quite sure. Still pretty cool. Expand a bandan weapon stash. I still smell Korok seeds on you. I'm gonna make your pouch even bigger. I don't think you could. All right. So that's pretty cool. There is still so much more to do throughout the world of Hyrule, but we made a good step forward with this one. According to my list, now that we have done that, um, how many quests do we have left? It looks like we have 15 remaining. So if we can just keep moving forward with each one of these, we'll soon enough be done and ready to take on Ganon at that castle for real. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.